and uh, the topic which I am going to present today is about cloud computing benefits for education institutions. Uh, from our college, myself, Dr. Vinod Kumar and uh, Mr. Raju, we work on this and we work on three areas. So regarding the cloud, this is a buzzword today and uh, most of the professors, institutions and uh, students are using it and our research is mainly uh, towards how it can be useful for the institution, how it can be useful for the lecturers and professors and how it can be useful for the students. So when we talk about cloud computing, here as far as the education is concerned, it be, is becoming completely associated with the information technology. So the main agenda of these uh, conferences is all about how technology in uh, today's morning presentation also our below keynote uh, person is here, so he also talked. So teaching is part of the teacher, but how we can use this technology as part of our uh, training, so that is important. So mainly when we talk about uh, information technology, it's all about how we are going to deliver to our students, so as far as the teacher and institution point of view. So as far as uh, any technology involvement today, so we the need for servers, storage, software are highly demanding. So for example, if we want to experiment something, for example, some research project, we need a lot of servers to do it, okay? So which is not at all um, available uh, in a reach. So those type of things, whether uh, education, how cloud will help them. And uh, as far as the storage is also concerned, now there are a lot of software facilities available for the cloud where the storage, storage nowadays we are having, in, the, in our class also we have seen, whenever we write something on the board, the students don't copy it. So they try to take it in the image. So the need for storage is more nowadays. So the limitation of the uh, flash memory which you, they have is not sufficient to store the information. So nowadays students have also started recording the videos of the lectures. So that they need the support of extra storage. And as far as software is concerned, so the development is huge. So it is being uh, booming like anything. Once in two months there is a change in the software and the usage and the facilities. So uh, we have found that in education today, the need for server storage and software are highly demanding in the university, college and school. So the main agenda, what we uh, look into work is cloud computing. So we just started exploring what exactly cloud computing is and uh, how, what are the various models that are available with it and how it can be useful to the education institution. So here as far as the definition of cloud computing, cloud computing is an internet based computing whereby shared resources, so which was the main uh, expectation of my education and software and information. So it just matches with the education requirement. So cloud is uh, providing the opportunity to use the education requirement. So cloud uh, provided to computers and devices on demand like electricity grid. So the requirement of education and the business model, so which we will be discussing on the next future presentation, so it's just matching towards the expectation of the education. So as far as the business model of cloud computing, we are having three business models. One is infrastructure as a service, second one is platform as a service, third one is software as a service. So when we, I want to start from the software as a service. Now whenever we start, whenever we want to do presentation, we are using with Google Docs. So it is software as a service. So whenever we use, uh, want to do some presentation, we will be using uh, Docs. So it is part of the software as a service. Then regarding the platform, nowadays what happens is in the education environment, what normally students face with is, they learn a small program in their computing environment when they go for the development environment, they will be using a lot of servers and uh, administration aspects like that. Okay. So, uh, there was a gap between those two things. Whatever, they were writing programs for small desktop and uh, after moving over to the industry. So, they found that. So, the platform as a service, there are a lot of companies like uh, uh, Google App Engine and Salesforce. 
So they are the companies where they are, and even Microsoft is providing platform as a service. So as far as the platform as a service is concerned, they can develop the software and deploy it in the server and find out how it is being developed in the industry. So as far as infrastructure, okay, there is a lot of variations that has been found in infrastructure. For example, infrastructure when we talk about is basically built on the operating system. So uh, infrastructure, so one set of program has to be run on Linux, one set of program has to be run on Windows. So in an educational institution, the systems which are being used, they need a lot of change in the infrastructure. So infrastructure as a service is one of the other business model which is much equivalent to the requirement of education industry. So I just want to break down with my presentation. The IT infrastructure like processing, storage, networks, and other fundamental computing resources can be used by the consumers as a service. So the educational institutions, it's easy uh, for them to avoid the requirements immediately. So in order to integrate decompose physical resources, infrastructure as a service use visualization extensively. In our organization also, we have started using uh, the virtualization as a first level. So whenever uh, we want to work on Oracle environment, it's just in a fraction of minutes we will start up the Oracle environment because it is being virtualized. So so that a student when he brings his laptop, so you, we will make the virtualized environment to him in fraction of minutes so that he can avoid the time duration which is being used for installation process which will take more than one hour or two hours. So like that, virtualization is the base for the infrastructure as a service. Okay, it's a starting point. So when I, uh, we experimented, when we do the search, we have understood companies like Amazon. So they are providing services. And in, my, in our future presentation, we will be selling, telling about what are the services they are offering to the education institution. So one of the examples which I want to tell about is Amazon is easy to. Regarding the platform as a service, as I have briefed you earlier, so there is a gap between the development environment and the production environment in the software industry by means of having a software. So here is the advantage. Everything is provided as a service. Okay. So for example, it is like availing a plan with a SIM card. So for example, I want next year for one month, I can pay five dollars and get it. If I don't want for the next month, there is no need for me to use it. Okay. So there is no written contract with me or for a year. So like that, the platform as a service. For example, I have developed some protocol where I need for my research work. I want to experiment it. Uh, I cannot have a, a big servers or big software which is costing around some thousand dollars. So, which is very much useful as a platform as a service. So I want to break down, to develop cloud service and application, FAST provides a development platform supporting the full software life cycle. So, a student in an educational institution can understand what exactly a software life, life cycle is. He can understand about how to implement it and how to experiment it. So, FAST requires programming environment, choose configuration management to support application hosting environment. So he can, as I mentioned, so he can host it, he can test the servers, attach actions, everything he can do with it. So for the example, what we understood from the research is the most common usage in the industry is Google App Engine. So it supports Python, it supports Go, a software which is being developed by Google. And uh, the most uh, prominent software Java. So a student who is experimenting with Java, Python, or Go can use Google App Engine and it's almost free. So regarding the software as a service, there are a lot of companies coming out with the plan and we have understood that most commonly used uh, software as a service is Google Docs. So now we can prepare presentation everything. So this is the third usage which is part of, which is common in the industry. <laughs> so we, as part of our study, the pioneers in the industry, we have focused on Microsoft, Google Apps, and Amazon Web Service. So which are common in the business and how they can be used in the education institution. So here, as far as Microsoft Live Review, they are intended for educational needs. They provide sets of collaboration tools uh, for educational institutions. So in fact, higher quality of technology is tied up with Microsoft Live Video. The hosted service includes collaboration service, communication tools, mobile, desktop, web-based applications. So they are 
providing the service in the subsidized cars and it is easy for the industry, educational institutions to experiment in the live environment. This was the first analysis what we did. Regarding the Google Ads engine, so here there are uh, web based programs which is, there is no need for us to install software. So try, if you are happy we can use it, proceed with that, if you are not happy we can stop with that. So mainly as far as the educational institutions is concerned, so the funding is the main part, uh, so what is that, main criteria for evaluating it. So Google Ads provides facilities like this and uh, organizations are getting facilities from the Google. So some of the case studies which we have understood is an education edition includes most of the extras in the premium edition and is offered at no cost. So Google has provided a page where we can avail the facilities and Google Ads allows the institution to use their own domain name. So app.google.com with a service and to customize the interface to look like the branding of the institution. So they are tying up with institutions that they are supporting on encouraging the cloud-based development. So in this way, the college or university can offer the functionality of Google back to the package to the students. So this is one of the studies which we have did. And uh, as far as Amazon is concerned, this is which is very famous for infrastructure as a service. So they are having a lot of service other than the infrastructure. But one of the prominent things are Amazon Web Service provides the cloud service in categories of compute, software, content delivery, database storage, deployment and management, so everything they are providing as a service. And as far as the educational institutions is concerned, these are some of the benefits which an educational institution can get from the Amazon Web Service. Some of the studies which we have did is, as far as the education, educators, academic researchers and students can apply to apply, apply free usage, credits and can utilize on-demand infrastructure. So that is one important aspect which is cloud provides to a educational institution. With the grants, educational institutions have made advances in research. As I have mentioned in my earlier uh, statement, that if I want to use some service for my application development, I can use this service for a minimum period of time. I can request it. So with this, um, we are having a uh, Facilities, the pioneers in uh, computing like uh, Google, Microsoft and AWS providing. And another important uh, point, AWS is providing educators up to $100 as grants as free usage for each student enrolled in their courses. So this is one of the benefits which we have understood from the cloud computing users. So as far as main, when we talk about institution, the important factor is researchers. So researchers around the world have access to global computing infrastructure. So which is one of the important factors we have understood by our research on this uh, overall study of cloud benefits. <coughs> so as to conclude, so by means of providing infrastructure, platform and software as a service, there is a lot of benefits for the education institutions which we have understood. So which, uh, which is the need for the education industry is how to use the technology efficiently and the funding is also one of the important aspects. So we, uh, by means of going through these three services, we have, uh, we have concluded this as the aspects. Educational institutions should be benefited by freeing IT staff for, for maintenance. So one of the other important, so for example, if I want to use some latest technology, I need the expert specific to that. So which is one of the important criteria where most of the institutions are lacking, so that can be managed by this and uh, there are regular updates so which can be maintained by means of having the cloud environment. Uh, the students expectations can be satisfied with the rising demand for the latest technology on the campus. So this is one of the important aspects which we thought cloud computing is benefit for the educational institution and uh, regarding the authentication. So for example one student is into the institution. So in our earlier uh, study also our presenter told so by means of having the OAuth tools, I, we are planning to integrate it with Facebook, YouTube, Gmail, everything. So the technology is like have identity and try to access everything. So that, that can be used efficiently with this cloud-based environment. So sharing content is a simple as that is common access which facilitates collaboration without having to transfer files or fully own software compatibility. So this is one of the important uh, 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 conclusions which we have. I did the point by means of having 
to our company. So, we, uh, by means of the study, we have concluded that cloud computing benefits education institutions. Thank you. So, if questions is there, please. Um, have you uh, been using uh, AWS for education in your institution? No, just we have applied for it. Okay. Because I, I looked into it about a year ago, and what uh, the reason I ruled it out was that although you can get the hundred dollars credit, every student has to have a credit and valid credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it. So I was wondering how you got. To me, yeah, actually, as a lecturer, we have tried it and we have given the uh, credit card details and we are uh, doing the research on that aspect. So, first level, for the first level. Okay, yes, but have, you, have you any thoughts on it in ter terms of uh, giving students access to it? Yeah, that, that we have to control it. How to get around that? Um, yeah, since uh, we, as a lecturer level, we have uh, given our credit card and started using it. Yeah. And we found that it's useful because. Uh, no, by your, no, 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 no. By, oh, no. How we are approaching the students? Buy your credit card, whatever we have. Uh, we are uh, giving the access to the students. As far as the AWS is concerned, we can have a single access and allow multiple users. Yeah, so then if, a, if I as a student launch 10xx large instances. Yeah, the, those things are uh, really costly. Yeah. <laughs> you have a bit of two Yeah, 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 yeah. That has happened to do. Yeah. That has happened to do. Okay, so those uh, things happened in one of the training where uh, they have started the large instance. And uh, we have to keep monitoring that. When we do some research aspect on these things, so uh, we have to look into it. These are some of the side effects of these things. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I'm just wondering whether you have any, any information about the societal acceptance or organizational acceptance of uh, cloud computing here in Oman and whether you're big universities, institutions, ministries, students, uh, deans of colleges and so on. Accepting, using, hosting, manipulating the students' files, the data, and this kind of... Uh, no, as data. far as cloud is concerned, so still there are a lot of debates on the security aspects. Mm. Okay. So, uh, as far as the uh, initial level of using, so I'm, uh, our concern is much on the infrastructure usage. So, the technology availability. Okay. So, as far as, as you mentioned, there is uh, still a lot of debates available as far as the security aspect, even in the industry, from uh, uh, typical usage of uh, an organization to an enterprise level. There is a lot of debates on to it. So now only it is maturing model. So it's a, it's a maturing model. So what we are trying to under use this in an effective way is how we can use this for a effective use of technology. For example, if I want to start off a Linux environment in my, in my organization, so it's not so easy to start up immediately. So we are trying to use how it will be a benefit for us in the technology aspects. So other than, as you mentioned, Still, there is a lot of vacuum in the aspects of security. So, 